Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and today I'd like to compare ideal armor band insulating wrap to black electrical tape. We're going to have two competitors installing two receptacles each. Both competitors decided to use something to insulate their receptacles terminals to prevent any accidental shorting between the terminals of the receptacles or the terminals and the aluminum exterior box that they will be installing the receptacles into. On the left is three-time ideal national championship winner Greg Anlicker. On the right will be Bill from Sparky Channel. This is from a competition video called Sparky vs. the Pros. The individual videos have been shifted slightly so that both competitors will start their insulating procedures at the same time. Notice that Greg has a blue armor band in his hand and he's ready to apply it to the receptacle. And notice that Sparky has some black electrician's tape in his hand and he's about ready to apply it to his receptacles. So these two video clips are synced up and here we are ready to go. And Greg is putting on his armor band around his first receptacle while Sparky is putting on his black electrician's tape. And Greg is finalizing his armor band, getting it smoothed out, while Sparky is putting on his second wrap of electrician's tape, and Sparky cuts it. Whoa, Greg has the lead here. Greg has taken the lead, and he's applying the armor band to his second receptacle, and here Sparky starts putting his black electrician's tape on his second receptacle, and Greg's having a little trouble getting it flattened out, getting his armor band flattened out. And here we go. Oh, Sparky just cut his electricity tape and he's done. Now Greg's straightening out his armor band. And now Greg's done. So in this case, the electrician's tape was a little faster than the silicone armor band. But I think with practice, I think the electricians could get faster with the armor bands. But they have to go on nice and flat. It's a problem if you put them on wrinkled and then you got to unwrinkle them. One advantage to the armor bands is that they are six times thicker than one application of electrician's tape. Also, they're 33% wider than the electrician's tape. So I think you do get more protection from the armor bands. I'll put links in my video description for the ideal 1000 volt insulated screwdriver set for ideal armor bands, I'll put links for ideal wire armor electrician's tape for Leviton 20 amp weather resistant and tamper resistant GFCI receptacles and standard receptacles. I'll put a link for the Volt Claw. I want to give a shout out to my friend Warren. Those Volt Claws are really handy. I'll put links in my video description for the Tamac and the seal proof two gang weatherproof covers and I'll put a link for next year's ideal championship in case you want to enter you know give it a shot and I want to give a shout out to Greg who is a really really good sport a super nice guy and now since you've made it this far in the video I'll go ahead and play the rest of the contest video so that you'll know how it turned out Okay, Sparky has just finished taping his receptacles. And now he's going to work at dressing the wires, pushing them back into the box carefully. And now he's going to pull out a tool called a Volt Claw. That yellow tool was invented by uh, one of Sparky's friends, Warren Tarbell. He actually makes those tools in Torrance, California, if you can believe that. Okay, now Greg is pushing his wires into the box and now he's going to be screwing the receptacles into the box. Sparky is taking quite a bit longer to get those wires in place, get the wires dressed, and he wants his receptacles to be almost where they need to be in the finish before putting on the cover. Okay, he's got them just like he likes them. And Greg is screwing in his screws. He's screwing the receptacles onto the exterior box. Now Sparky's going to be putting on the special longer screws into the box. These are the ones that come with the weatherproof cover. 
These are not the screws that come with the receptacles. And that's the way he wants to do it. He's going with those longer screws. Whereas Greg is using the screws that come with his receptacle. And now Sparky is once again working at the positioning of his receptacles. He likes it just like that. And here comes the cover. Watch the cover. It slides on and there you go. Okay, so he's got all four screws into place and now he's gonna use a DeWalt 12 volt impact driver to screw down the screws, not all the way, but most of the way. And Greg is a little bit of a disadvantage here in that he had to take his weatherproof box out of the package and he's got a lot of different options there. There's a lot of different pieces and he's uh, getting it the way he wants as Sparky's uh, screwing down the screws with the impact driver. And now Sparky's gonna take his screwdriver and tighten up these screws the rest of the way he got it most of the way with the impact driver and he's going to finish it off with the screwdriver. Okay, now he's going over the reveal. That is, he wants the receptacles to align perfectly. He has his receptacle tester in the GFCI receptacle and he's just turned on the circuit breaker which wasn't very far from the receptacle and there's the two green lights that means correctly wired and here's the GFCI test. The GFCI test passed for the GFCI and now he's going to test out the standard receptacle, it passed regular wiring, and it passed the GFCI test. Sparky's done. Okay, Greg is working on his weatherproof cover. It's a different setup. He has a Hubble Tamac weatherproof cover. The seal-proof covers can be quicker to work with if you're familiar with them. Sparky had an advantage here in that his seal-proof cover had already been taken out of the package and it was ready to go. I think Greg would have finished before Sparky if he would have had the same setup with the weatherproof cover. Greg won't be testing his receptacles as that wasn't part of his competition. Also, this is only a small part of what Greg had to do. This is part of his second round competition and there's actually four rounds and this is just a small part of his second round. Sparky was able to just relax and work at his regular work speed while the competitors in this competition are under tremendous stress. So Greg is finishing up, screwing in the screws and getting it just the way he wants it. And he's taking a look at it and there it is. Greg's done.